Welcome to Terminal 2, Chicago O'Hare, uh, in the EF Concourse. This is United's new uh, United Club, and I believe it is the old reopened Continental Club. Let's go take a look. Hi, how are you today? Yes. Thank you. So, as you can see, this uh, is not a fully new built club, but uh, it is way better than being out in the terminal. Uh, as I recall, this used to be the Continental or U.S. Airways Club. Uh, and, it, you know, I think they've put a little bit of money here. There's some customer service. Uh, they've done a new mural. Some waters, oh, that's different for the fall. Apple, cinnamon, cucumber. I like these phone pods. Uh, I'm actually kind of interested to check it out. Hmm. Oh, that's perfect for a Zoom call. That's really nice with plugs and everything. I will totally use this again. Um, these are made by Framery. And um, as you can see, they have sort of a uh, sealed feeling to them. And they have the backlight versus looking like you're standing in the dark. Um, hmm. I, I actually really like that. I would totally do that. Oh, and here's one with a chair. I think I'd like that too. It comes right on when you go in there. Pretty good. All right, so what else can we find in here? As you know, um, Terminal EF is usually uh, the RJs, so it's not the sort of premier offering of the club. Um, but it is, uh, you'll see the sort of standard chairs and pluggers. Uh, this terminal actually has a better view out to the concourse, and I believe when it's light, sometimes you can see downtown Chicago. So that's nice. <clears throat> Everything is clean. There are uh, restrooms. <clears throat> and a snack and bar station. Hmm. That is something I've not seen before. Uh, tabs that you can use. Let's see. Some of the waters. Chocolate brownie bites. Chocolate chip cookies. Here is mainline red blend and mainline white blend. I guess these are United's house ones. Interesting. All right. Hmm. I have not seen that before. It's made by Camelot Vineyards Winery. At least for the red and the same is true for the white. All right. Here is dried apricots, roasted corn nuts, and wasabi beans. On tap, you have Sam Adams, Blue Moon, oh, even Prosecco on tap. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of cool. Different. Some bananas and other stuff. Okay, this is pretty good. Here's a cheese board and charcuterie. Here you can get a uh, curried chickpea sandwich. Tucson chicken sandwiches. Yeah, these actually look pretty good. A soup. And here we can actually get a salad. A grain and a green salad with various dressings. That's pretty nice. 
and finally it looks like uh, Mediterranean options uh, with pita and chickpeas and uh, all this good stuff here. Overall, I'm going to say that this is a very nice improvement over the lounge accommodations before. Um, the furniture is very much uh, congruent with the rest of the United Clubs in Chicago. Soda machines, coffee, uh, all the works. Let me know what you think. Uh, be interested to see what questions you have. And uh, thanks for watching. So I wanted to close. This is actually one of the more unique features of this club. Uh, it is a self-service bar. Uh, you do actually have to be 21 and over. Uh, you have Miller Lite, Blue Moon, uh, Sam, a Silvergate Prosecco on tap, um, <coughs> United's White Blend, which is from Camelot Winery in California, and the Red Blend. You have water, chocolate chip brownie bites, cookies, and snacks. Uh, I think this is actually just a great concept. I hope we see this in more of the clubs. Uh, and this is something that literally just opened a few days ago. Uh, I had a chance to talk with uh, the GM of the club, and um, they just opened. They're trying some new things, including the light booths that we shared earlier for the Zoom. I think those are going to be a super hit, and i um, interested to know what you think. So, uh, again, this actually I learned is a converted Delta Club, but United is trying to expand its capacity here at O'Hare, and I, for one, am really pleased with that. Let me know what you think, and um, we'll see you another time.